Hey, welcome to yummyarts.com. My name is Carrie, and today we'll be making beautiful, delicious tort cakes. I've worked at many bakeries, and we call these tort cakes. And pretty much torts, um, it's just anything that's cut and filled with different um, fillings. You may know them by a different name, and that's perfectly fine. Um, and they also could be made with buttercream or whipped cream, and that's totally a preference of, of you. Uh, we have many different things that you can make torts with. I have them right here, a few of the ingredients. A menagerie of things here from morsels. Let me just tell you a few things. They have some really great things. They used to have just chocolate chips. Now you can get little chips, chips that have mints, some that are filled with raspberries, some are dark chocolate, some are have peanut butter in them. There are di millions of different flavors and they really work great for these. We, um, another thing to use is um, different nuts, candies, um, fresh fruits, um, canned fruits such as, like this here is cherry pie filling on um, blueberry pie filling, works really great. Um, crumbs, and I'll show you a little bit about that later. Um, just make sure one of the things you'll need is maybe this little strainer. You can use a colander or whatever you like, but this works for little jobs. Like if you're going to use cherries on a cake, you want to drain them, so that works. Um, cake boards and um, fillings. For example, this here is lemon curd filling, and it tastes great. I get this at a cake supply store, and they have other things like raspberry and um, Bavarian cream and various other flavors. And um, I have here the clear cake collars. Um, these are uh, great for um, writing on cakes. Now, tort cakes generally don't leave any room for um, writing, like happy birthday. So you can take some one of these, and I'll show you really quick. They come in strips, also known as acetate. It's come in strips, usually like for Boston cream pie or Boston cream cake, depending on how you want, you want to think of it. Um, to hold in the filling and they kind of it's like a collar but what I do is I just cut this and write happy birthday on it and set it on top of the torts and there's these are also um, the pieces of um, plastic that I use to help smooth out cakes like when I'm doing cut out cakes so just so you know get this at a cake decorating supply store other things you'll need are your basic supplies like a turntable and um, like decorating bags I'm gonna use this one um, it's a preference to using a big thick tip like this, teeth or not, and your spatulas. Now it's a, a preference of yours if you wanted an offset spatula or one that's not. Um, also I, I, a triangle and a plastic spatula and um, I think that's pretty much it. Anything you can think of to put on there is totally up to you. So after you decide what flavor um, and ingredients that you'll need, uh, then we can move on to baking. Now, I want to let you know my preference or my idea on scratch versus a box. Well, let me just tell you that box cakes are some really great box cakes out there um, that you can get from your local supermarket. And um, there are really great um, scratch recipes as well, but the main thing is, is, is not necessarily the recipe or if it's from a box, but knowing your oven, the temperature, and um, the, your type of pan that you're cooking in, and even the placement in the oven. So if, if you um, kind of understand how that, all of that works together, you get a much better cake than if um, just concentrating on a box or versus um, scratch. As we prepare to decorate each cake, I'll show you all little tips and tricks for each one. So let's get started. <music> 